The Breen still patrol this sector, but they've cut back since the turrets were installed. Hard to believe this used to be a thriving commercial district. Still, brings back memories. I don't see how. You weren't born before the secession war closed this place. I know. Strange. Take your comm capsule? Good. You know, you could have chosen an easier route here. I need the exercise. I leave the easy routes to you, my friend. Show off. Do you think so? Try to keep up then. I'd like to see if the student can surpass the teacher. Child, security compromised in your sector. Units have been dispatched to your location. Unnecessary. Thank you, officer. I will deal with the intruder. Uh, 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 uh. Nice device. You're a dirty boy, Chairman. Hmm. You have no idea. Fascinating, isn't it? A body so attuned to pain that it begins to crave it. The brutal training she underwent as a Monacan agent created a weakness for me to exploit and enjoy. Ironic, isn't it? In a way, you did this to her. Eon, I... I'm sorry, I couldn't help it, I just... Oh, the way he touches... Yes, thank you, Sithandra. I get it. Oh, I knew she wouldn't understand, darling. Yes, yes. Jealousy is a natural reaction. Please. I can't believe you dragged me into this so you could tryst with him. Aren't there any Monacan men who can treat you badly? Hmm. But love is blind, Dion. I'm sure you two will sort this out. I am excited to see what you're capable of, Eon. I will watch with great interest to see who triumphs. Darling, will I see you again? Sithandra, he's not your darling. Listen to me. My fickle heart can only belong to the strongest, my dear. I've got a thing for scrappy women. If you can prove yourself, we will be together forever. Allow me to give you a goodbye gift for luck. Oh! Oh, oh yes! Thank you, darling. Oh, you deal pain with such tenderness. Oh, God. Predictable. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Oh! Eon! I never knew it could be like this! Oh. Trevor, we are through! You killed her? She was your friend! She was, but she lost herself to him, believe me. Trevor Goodchild will pay dearly for it. Anyway, she's smiling. Concerning the minor insurrection downtown, diffused, Chairman. No casualties this time, thank God, but... But who knows next time? Pardon me, Chairman? You're right, of course, Counselor. Steps must be taken. Thank you for your report. Uh, certainly, Chairman. Owen, you heard all that. We have to do something, my brother. Something clever. The people are bored, restless, without direction. They need an outlet. They have jobs. It requires something to fill their... Leisure time. Hmm. Something. Diversion, distraction, spectacle, something that couldn't matter less. Sex. Owen, did you just say sex? And violence. Well, that goes without saying, doesn't it? Hmm. Violence. Sex, spectacle, and seasonal. 
I feel an idea coming on. Something distinctly Roman. Chairman, the Fashion Council is calling as requested. Shall I put them through? As I requested? Ah, Oren, well played. The Fashion Council, eh? I would have gotten there myself, you know. Yes, please, Sathandra. I have a proposal I believe they'll be excited to hear. I know you. You replaced Lafrace's model at the last minute. What's a model like you doing in a big spooky lab like this? Poor Lafrace, Driven mad by his own guilt. And a little pharmaceutical something my brother Oren slipped into his cocktail. You stole something of mine. Does this make us even? Eon! Let her go, good child. This one? Oh no, she's far too clever. And lovely. I think I'll keep her. Say, why don't you model my newest design for Miss Flux? He... he planted a custodian on me, Eon. I... I have to do what he says. Me? All I said is that you're prettier than she is. <laughs> Round three is beginning, and my two finalists are right here. I expect to see you on the runway, Eon Flux. Ah, fitting conclusion to the most exciting fashion of the fittest ever. Congratulations, Ia. You're first runner-up in this year's Fashion of the Fittest. Runner-up? I'm the last model. Oh, are you? Well, this is Fashion of the Fittest, and two models remain standing. What? Who's the other model? Why, Oren here. If you'd paid more attention to the competition, you'd have noticed he's been competing in each round. Who's his designer? Well, he's wearing a little something I threw together. Fetching, don't you think? Oren. This is for real. I had to see it for myself. Sithandra. Ah, recognized by such a celebrity. I may swoon. What are you doing? I'm trying to go home. Nobody seems too happy about it, though. Can you blame them? The legendary Eon Flux just walks away from it all? Who could believe that? I'm just finished. Done. With all the death and misery. What's the point? Well. There's your noble cause. And where does that get me? Shot, stabbed, strangled, crushed, electrocuted, drowned, blown up, and run over? I'm trying on a new cause. Me. Don't you get that sickly deja vu? You know, you've done this all before, over and over, and nothing ever changes. Everybody feels like that. Sometimes. You're nothing special. Maybe. But it's a bad cycle, and I'm breaking it. Hey, word of advice? You really want to be left alone? Try reducing your public profile, but I don't think you can. I think that for all your protesting, you've come to crave that limelight. You like people to watch you. Seriously, you're a secret agent assassin that dabbles in modeling and stars in seven top-rated Brincom series, playing herself as a secret agent assassin. <laughs> Good luck going incognito. Just watch me. Throw the switch, Claudius. Bring her back. Initiating the fall. What's the problem? Memory leak. Look at yourself. What do you think you're doing? Not what you thought it was going to be, is it? You did this to yourself. This doesn't look good for you. Should pass in. There. The secret agent assassin gig? I'm calling it a day. I think you've gone far enough. 
This is my home, and you're taking a lot of liberties for someone that wasn't invited. Am I? You have no idea, do you? You actually think you're me. What? Hmm. Your precious Trevor made you. Because he couldn't have me. Get it? You're beautiful, Monikin. But your head's full of rocks. Whatever you say. I was born and raised Breen. There's no Monikin blood in me. Trevor! Trevor! You're supposed to be gone and safe. I couldn't leave my beloved to die. Which beloved are you talking to? Tell her, Trevor. Tell her which one of us is the real Eon. It's complicated. You both are the real Eon. And you both are copies. What are you talking about? Don't take it personally. Until I can solve our ongoing problem. What problem? Trevor, you're back. Yes, Orin. To save Eon. You shouldn't be. The Monikans are igniting Kiana gas bombs throughout the Citadel. I'm on an escape ship now. Hmm. Kiana gas is completely lethal. I presume Trevor Next is with you. Of course. And Orin Next. Both will be safe. Excellent. See you, Orin. Here it comes. <coughs> Trevor. <coughs> Goodbye, Eon. Remember that I love you. <coughs> and I'll see you again soon. <coughs> Eon, don't! What? You're Monikans? Help us! Meet us in the tunnels! They used to be Monikans. Now they're something different. I recognize their insignia. That was a siege team that vanished in the field four years ago. I found them. That means I get to keep them. And maybe I... changed them a little. But I don't want them anymore. They're becoming something I can't control and can't use yet. So I'm sending them away. Into cold storage, or more precisely, into orbit. Where'd you find the spaceship? Find it? I built it! And you're going to become intimately familiar with its interior. What the hell happened here? Ah, Security Chief Freya, join us. Can you please take Miss Flux into custody and escort her aboard? My pleasure. Drop the weapon, Flux. It's a nice offer, but I'm not getting in the big icebox. See you in the tunnels? Yes, I suspected that might happen. Go after them, please, Security Chief Freya. If they won't come back... Understood, Chairman, immediately. All units, we've got runners in the tunnels. Increase the inhibitor pylon output, maximum. That should give our friends something to think about. There, head east to the barrier. Our people will get you to safety. No, east, the other way. That's the frontier. It's suicide, even for Monikans. Eon, thank you. We are not Monikans, not anymore. We will survive the frontier. No one can. It's filled with... Monsters? Not yet. But it's going to be. Okay. The fertility injector is activated. Great. I'm reading that. What seeds did you use? I used the seeds that you... Huh. Which ones did I use? Those M-fruit seeds. I'll just put ours through on the next cycle. Oh. Eon, the Ministry is emitting a very strange signal. It's... botanical. And it's growing at an unbelievable rate. You might want to think about getting back to Monica now. For God's sake, what have you done? I made a special lot, Trevor. What?! A special lot of M-fruit seeds, guaranteed to fail. I don't want you to isolate the replication factor. But you're too smart for me. I couldn't hack the lock on the injector. She could, though. You aren't too smart for her. The M-fruit has failed. Status quo preserved. Oren, I don't know what to... Well, thanks to you two, Monica's Shiv will be arriving very soon. There's something I have to give her.
I destroyed the mother plant before you could pollinate it. I wasn't going to pollinate this abomination. I was coming to kill it. So I saved you a step. It's dead now. Eon, I'd look again. Is that... Monica Shiv? Yes. Or used to be. You didn't kill it. You freed it. It's... She's beautiful. But Monica Schiff was human. A brain councilwoman that rebelled against government oppression 300 years ago. Was human. And even then the deadliest creature ever released upon mankind. Now she's something else. I was using her, her essence to reverse a terrible genetic wrongdoing. Too late now. You let the genie out of the bottle. I'll never get it back in again. Good child, I'm bad. And I don't think I like the way I've been handled. But it's good to be back. I will help my children again. My monikins. I'll help handle them. Thank you for freeing me. The room is going supernova. It's going to explode. Monica! No! I'll be seeing you again soon. I'm here. You're sure this is the place? He'll be all alone. Our sympathetic friend assured us. Fine. But our sympathetic friend left the Force Shield on. He's going to lower it in three, two, one. There. Go. Gone. Schematics. Looks like an assault vehicle. A big one. This is how Chairman Goodchild sues for peace. Looks like we got here just in time. We? You're funny. What's the matter, Eon? Do you have a doubt? About killing Goodchild? Please. It's your sympathetic friend. Whether the intel is good or not, is betraying somebody. Eon Flux. And I've been so looking forward to us being on the same side, finally. Really? I see you say peace. But those plans for the Grand Dreadnought sounds like genocide to me. Plans for... <laughs> you misunderstand. <laughs> genocide. You know me better than that. I've never met you, Chairman. I forgot. Regardless, I'm the only one who can give you what you truly want. You can't give it. You can't even buy it. And you just don't get it. Thank you. Eon, it's time for you to return. But the chairman, I shot... It's Emperor Goodchild now. Worse than we ever imagined. The Monikans are losing a devastating war. This war is retribution for your botched assignment. Who is she? They found her at the scene. And that led to us. And now we're being decimated. You need to set things right. There's a message I want you to deliver. I'll think about it. When she comes around, send her to me. Time to wake up. There's fighting for you to do. said it was just a myth. Get new intel. That thing is a monster and it's real. Are you ready to listen? You have to stop that thing. That's what your delivery is about? That's right. You've got the material. You want to help now? No time like the present.
someone is responsible for this. I don't want answers. I want the cannon back online. The Monacan extermination is nearly complete. How many times will you make me kill you, darling? You! How did you... Orin, you're Emperor Goodchild? You set up the hit on Trevor, but he was your brother. He was, but you killed him. I keep him close to me. His DNA, anyway. A memorial of sorts. I can't have him re-entering the stream, coming back. I'm too close to reaching my goals. Trevor would only want to get in the way, solve the sterility issue, make us all mortal again, end my reign supreme! Funny. That's just what I'm about to do. I don't think so. This is bigger than you, Flux. All right. Good child, next gen. Instructional number, whatever. Intellic order, fix on me. Good. Trevor, next. Do you remember the instructional concerning Monica Shiv? The insurrectionist that led the first Monacan secession in, oh, ID-45. She was martyred then, and her legacy has caused me, us, no little trouble since. Ever wonder what became of her? Ta-da! Here she is. Forgotten, but hardly gone. Distilled to her purest essence. Mmm, I like that sound. Monica has been helping us isolate a cure for our serious problem. She's much more useful in her current format than in her previous one. Oren, specimen 17A, please. Monica is very special to our studies. She has certain consistent properties. No new identities. Never passes through the relical. She's always just Monica. Good. Plants can still replicate. I believe we can use that ability to cure our own problems. Careful now. Just the smallest amount. Monica is amazingly potent. You have to handle her very carefully.
Thank you, Oren. Return it to the nursery. It should begin seeding soon. I expect that will be quite an occasion. Let's return Miss Shiv to her home. Oren seems in an especially good humor today, doesn't he? I believe the stability meds are balancing him out nicely. <laughs> Trevor, I can bring you back. Here. Who is it? It's Trevor Goodchild. His brother pulled him from the stream. Hmm. The material has been altered. He won't look the same. But you still want to place him back in the stream. It's... It's important. I don't know why, but I know it is. Yes. Things are going to change, Eon. Hostesses, tonight's head smash is a real humdinger. We're bringing you a live interview from the laboratory of none other than the god of modern tech himself. You know him as doctor and chairman. We just want to call him daddy. It's Trevor Goodchild. Chairman, it is so good of you to have us in this evening for a live interview. It's sad that the members of your security detail no longer qualify. It wouldn't be a very revealing interview if all we got was mm, and mm, would it? <laughs> Not me, Hostess Tony. All the hostesses out there in Smashland know what I look like. Come on, fix on the chairman. He's the exciting one. Chairman, first question, and I'll be direct. You're the boy with all the toys, and we hostesses love you for it. But what we're all dying to know, and we've heard some pretty juicy rumors, is what's the new tech you're playing with? Where'd it come from? Thanks, Sostis Cami. It's a real pleasure to have you and... Me? Oh gosh, I'm... I'm Hostess Tony. <laughs> and the lovely Hostess Tony here tonight. I'm a big fan. Phase science. Uh, excuse me? Come on, Hostess Cami, keep up. The technology I'm currently working with is called phase science. It allows, or <laughs> will allow, its user to temporarily move through solid objects and seem to appear out of thin air. Very exciting work. That's... fascinating. And where did you get the idea for such a revolutionary chunk of tech? Oh, it's not my idea. I sort of... Well, stole it, to be honest, from genetic mutants. I had to kill a whole lot of them to get it, though. Not good communicators. You... what? Genetic mutants? We never heard anything about that. How did... How did I conceal them? Oh, that's not so tough. I've got an entire underground facility in the industrial section where I created and studied them until I was finished. Never knew anything about that either, did you? What are you gonna do with it? Phase science will be used to finally contain all the elements of this society that distract me from my real work. You know who I mean, don't you? Why are you telling us this? We could... we should kill you. Transmit, transmit, please. Free the chairman. Immediately. Why? Because this interview will never see the light of day, that's why. Oren, the last one is behind the table. Uh. 
I'm glad you're on my side. Faye's harnesses seem to be working well. Intellicorder activated. Good child, next gen instructional log entry 456. There's something I want you to see. Yes, there, right there. It's impossible to divert attention from her, isn't it? You're going to ask who is she, but I can't tell you that. You will encounter her, though. I don't know how, but I'm certain we've met her again and again. She's always this determined. And she's always this infuriating. And that intriguing. But how? I know it's him now. I've been watching up there in his noisy solitude. He's keeping her out of the stream somehow. He keeps her and brings her back. But he won't talk to me anymore, if he ever did. Past Gen Trevor's claim he used to, but... But that doesn't matter. As long as he keeps the stream flowing, I'll leave him to his mischief. After all, he's got his job, and I've got mine. Hmm. I could watch this all day. Intellicorder initiated, activated, and... rolling. Suboral recording, in progress. Hey look, it's Hostess Judy. Hey there, Hostesses. Check it. Three rollers jacked fresh right off the tracks. Rollers off the tracks? That's derailed and detained. We're way under Good Child Industries Subsidy Complex. 26 stories under. That's like hell deep, Hostesses. <laughs> Only rollers. We lost Hostess Missy a few hours back to a swarm of control drones wired from Mean. Got us a ticket ticket edgy, you know? GI market rollers are completely secure. Once you've stacked and sealed your precious stash in one, nobody's touching it until the roller shows up at its program destination. Rollers are sabotage proof, theft proof, bomb proof, virus proof, bullet proof, and waterproof. Sadly, they are not hostess proof. For the uprights that packed their loot in one today, that is. We've head smashed you right into the belly of the beast, because you know the hottest new sizzle will be rolling through here. The security's hyper-aggression confirms that one. Aha! Hostess Judy's worked her incomparable feminine wiles on this one, and it's opening like a horny flower. Let us observe, shall we? What do we got in the sack? Hostess Judy, you've got a skish slideways about 2.5, so I can check the... oh. Well, accidents can happen. What about your big round friend, Hostess Sandy? What lovelies lurk in the polycarbonate belly of the... Oh no. All of them? Well, Hostesses, if it can't be Sizzletech, it might just as well be mysterious human corpses. Who are they? What's Good Child doing with them? Big bag of cues, and you just know we're the Hostesses to answer... them. Ooh. Hostess Judy, Hostess Sandy, check the upgraded sniffer arrays on the old Mark 12 control drones. Sorry. That is Quiet. so Sorry. sizzle. Quiet. Trevor next. Every few generations, you'll need to erase history and create a more convenient version. But what do you do with the parts you throw out? Observe. The repository of all real knowledge and history. It's all here, hidden away for you. For instance, here. Industrial disease, 400 years ago. A highly aggressive virus that found its way into an otherwise perfect genetically engineered food source. Killed billions. I found a cure, but it caused its own problems. Speaking of viral strains, you'll love this one. When ID struck, Good Child Industries had developed a new type of corrosive, extremely fast and enormously efficient. Our goal was to resolve the issue of non-renewable waste materials. Metals, chemical byproducts, everything except organic matter would be eaten and harmlessly disposed of by this new super rust. What we called Virust. Clever, right? 
It's kept just around this corner. Anyway, virus was problematic in that once released Find her. Stop her, if she's still here. In that once released, it couldn't be stopped or contained. Virus was very hungry. We shut down the project immediately, but not soon enough. Hey, hostesses! This is Hostess Jenny with the hottest new head smash. Strap in and drizz out while I drop you a sneak a peek on the slickest new goodie from the Good Child Toy Box. How many times has this happened to you while you're out grabbing head tapes? <laughs> Only possible answers to that are none or once. And if you're streaming this, the second one is a lie. Used to be the control drones were your biggest problem. Those days are gone. Now we've got these sleek little fatties to contend with. You saw them. How hot are they? Mm-hmm. What a way to go. Shoutouts to Hostess Katie and Hostess Kelly, who gave it all up to catch this mega mega smash fodder. Nice work, hostesses. Since we know Trevor wears the biotech pants in the family, it's obvious that these are Oren's babies. Way to go, O-Ring. They're under like hard blue classification right now, but the DB hostess crew cannot be squelched. Here's what we dug up. Okay, near silent twin wing propulsion stabilization system. Banks like a councilman and stops on a razor. Top flight speed? <laughs> Faster than you, you betcha. Obviously self-cooled, but guessing there's a fluid system linked through there too. Big single reflex varicam lens with all the goods. AI telecord, full spectrum enhancement package, 3D extrapolation nodes here and here. Big Brother is watching and doing it in style. Here's the best part. From what we can make out, the function's weapons loadout is totally swappable. These slickies can be outfitted for takedown, lab work, maintenance, guard work, aggressive and passive surveillance, and can walk the damn dog if there were any of them left. Believe it. Dear Saint Good Child, I've been good and I want one so bad. Okay, here's delivery. Ouch! And now he's pulling out. What's he grabbing? That girl's over, right? Well, we'd never leave you hanging. Hostess Amy sussed it out. It's DNA! They're pulling DNA! X is still Y for now, but you can bet we're gonna pull out all the stops to get to the bottom of this one. Hostess Jenny from DB Crew wrapping up this late-breaking head smash. Stay low and keep your eyes peeled, hostesses. <laughs>